Holy Madness of Ule. Ule Art Exhibition Opening, Sophia, April 2017, Spring and Freshness in the Air. Me, Chrissy, and Tony. Chrissy said, too much was written and said about Ule in Bulgaria. But in theory, nothing from everything is what it actually is. The hall was full of people and chatter. We looked at the photographs. I expected to see what, performance, is, who Ule is. Journalists, photographers, the mayor, people started gathering. All of a sudden, I see him. Standing out from the bland crowd, inhaling impressions with his skin. Taking in, living the moment without showing emotion. He's holding a fantastic bouquet made of vegetables. A very stylish and exciting gift for a man points to the idea. He faces my direction, and I suddenly freeze, a charming grown boy, very chic. The age is just a plus. A thinker. He exudes gentle power. There is a special feeling in the air, and I can see he feels it too. Without any announcement, he says, I will leave you for a bit to calm down, and later maybe I'll be back to give you a performance. We continue to look at the pictures. They are old, another time. A whole wall, showing their performance with Marina Abramovich, the two of them standing in a hallway looking at each other and people go around pressing themselves against their naked bodies. After that, I go everywhere to the many photos of him, in makeup, nude, dressed in a leotard, a series of pictures from Africa. And this whole time, I keep thinking, what is this man's inner motivation and inspiration to do these, definitely far from traditional, things. I find myself front row for the performance by some intentional coincidence. Ule was a few feet away from me. He undressed and started showing some needles, razor blades, all kinds of scary things. Finally, he turned his back to us and thanked God because I saw him pointing these things towards his chest. I started to get nauseating. He did it. Without any rush, to him, all this is, let's just do the job we came to do. He cut himself under one of his breasts and left a mark with his blood on the wall showing his face. At that moment, all of us forgot to breathe, I am sure. All you can hear was the clicking of the cameras. It felt like a hug. You can't just take stuff, you have to give back. That's the law of the universe. All wise men abide by it. He gave us a part of himself, but he took little pieces of us too. This whole process of taking and giving is like a complete 180 turn. It's like your soul is doing backward and then forward flips so it can find its proper place while experiencing something completely new. He wrote using his blood, holy. I was shocked by the ease with which he cut his chest and then pushed it against the wall. What is holy about that? I was wondering. My head was pulsing. Tony just walked out. Time passed, and I was still thinking about Ule. About his holy eyes. About his photo with the silver manicure, coincidentally, mine was the same. I was thinking about how I wanted to take a picture with him and I couldn't. I was thinking about the way he was attracting people with his madness. It really was pure madness, a person putting himself in front of people, writing with his blood on a wall, and still, people applauded him. Yet, at the same time, all of this honestly had a holy feeling. Something magnetic in this message, written in blood, listen to your heart. The heart always knows best. Rest in peace, Ule. Find links in the description box and create your alluring holy madness life.